"'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, all the Turtle Girl's creatures were stirring and Sienna was eating a mouse." No YouTube rewind. This is the Turtle Girl rewind. The Turtle Girl rewind. Let's go. What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. And first off, I would first like to wish you all a very merry Christmas Eve, technically, if you're seeing this when it first comes out, or if you're watching this Christmas morning after you've opened presents, having your hot cocoa with your family. I don't know, however you're celebrating the holidays this year with family by yourself. Hopefully we can have a little cozy end of the year wrap up update today. You know how people send Christmas letters every year where they kind of like talk about what their kids did and how old their kids are and just like a little update on everyone in the family? That is what we're gonna be doing today and also this will be helpful for me because I frequently forget how old my animals are. I know I'm a bad pet parent, but I, I don't have all these things floating around in my head all the time. So we're just gonna check in on everybody and just give a little yearly update for all of the animals. So Hoku has officially reached five years old. He is still growing as you can kind of see with his shell. He started shedding at the beginning of this year but has since not completed that process. So this summer we spent a lot of time outside using a DIY basking area to get him some of those sunlight and help him along with the growth process. He's still as Houdini-like as ever and will take every opportunity to try to climb up the sides of his tank when I overfill it. Thankfully though, we did not have any escapes this year, so I think that's a win for me. He didn't really get any other fishy friends this year. I actually did try to add another algae eater, but that got eaten. So he's still in his 40 gallon breeder tank with his pal, the convict cichlid, and it's just the two of them living together. I hope that in 2022 he will be getting a tank upgrade, and actually this whole space is going to get a bit of a reboot, fingers crossed. So stay tuned for that in 2022. This year was relatively uneventful for Kuzon, my Murphy's patternless leopard gecko. He is approaching three and a half years old. He is still a terrible, terrible hunter when he's eating his doobie roaches and needs to be tong fed all the time. And he is also just the chillest guy ever. We hang out all the time. And the craziest thing that happened to him this year was he was able to explore some new parts of the room because he actually escaped his tank, as you saw in last week's video. I also hand fed him like with my fingers for the first time this year. Uh, I I think it was slightly traumatizing for both me and him, uh, but we got through that. We did. We worked through that, didn't we, Kuzan? And yes, he is named after an Avatar The Last Airbender character, which they announced the casting for the Netflix series this year, and I am very excited for that. Just a side note. Mochi the Axolotl is doing quite well. He is almost four years at this point. He's also seen a bit of improved health, having lived in this 20 gallon tank for all of 2021, and also being on a new diet of earthworms every other day. His gills have fluffed up, and he's quite fat and happy. He also doesn't have any tank mates, so he's very pleased with that. What would you like to say for yourself? Anything? No? Sienna, my Nelson's milk snake, is getting to be quite the big girl. She is almost, or no, she's over two years now. And I don't know if you can tell, but she has gained a lot of weight and length since when I first got her. She shed multiple times this year. As you can see, here's one of her beautiful long sheds. And she will most definitely be getting an upgrade in 2022 because she is quickly, quickly outgrowing her little enclosure. She is just my favorite little danger noodle. She is so sweet, amazing with handling now. She's also quite the long noodle, probably over 24 inches at this point. And she is just, ugh, oh, look at her. She is just an amazing animal. I definitely want more snakes in 2022. All I want for Christmas is a ball python. Let's just put that out there, fingers crossed. I mean, it's not gonna show up under my tree tomorrow, but just let that be known that 2022, more snakes, hopefully, hopefully. Look at her, I love her so much. 2021 brought some sad news as well. We had the passing of Nemo, my Eastern painted turtle. He was 15 years old. So I'm not gonna go into depth in it here. I did a video on it at the beginning of this year, but it also brought some new animals. The six musketeers, the six blind musk turtles that I was able to adopt from Steenfot. These guys are just thriving in this tank. And if you look behind me, you can see that there's also a plethora of platies in here. I also recently added some scissor tail rasboras. There's an algae eater. This tank is just thriving with all the animals in it. There's so many fry, I can't even count. And all six turtles are doing very well, eating, swimming around, just living their best life in this entire tank. So out of the sadness of losing Nemo, there was a little bit of joy with being able to adopt these six common musk turtles. They're really just chill little dudes and I love seeing them cruise around the tank. Nothing really eventful has happened with them. I've seen the females basking about twice and they just interact so well together all in this tank. You can 
can see, all these platies are just super hungry for food. And I also was very proud of all the names I chose for them. They were all very punny names. So we have Toph, Chirrut, Fury, Elon, Murdoch, and Crash. The six musk turtles, all of them basically blind one way or another. I think there's one actually that may not be blind. These were the new additions for 2021 and they have just been an absolute joy to have because they're just oh, so cute and so tiny. He's angry at me. He doesn't really want to be here. You don't want to be here, do you, buddy? I'll let you go. Go back into your tank. Here. Oh. Mm. Sinks like a pebble. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye. Also, so you guys know, Rocky, the miniature schnauzer, our dog, is doing very well. Not including him in this video, because for one, he's kind of camera shy. I don't know why. He just doesn't like the big camera anymore. And then also... The chickens are doing well, but it's cold outside, so I'm not going out there. But they are also laying eggs and doing great. That's the update on kind of like the family pets. So that is the Turtle Girls year in review for 2021. Thank you to all of the new subscribers who joined us this year and also the longtime ones. This channel has been going for almost four years. We're projected to hit 100,000 in 2022, which is super duper exciting. And I'm just looking forward to everything that is in store for the new year. Thank you all for a wonderful year, and I will see you on December 31st to actually properly wish you a happy new year. But until then, have a totally awesome day. Bye!